uh, welcome back again guys to my youtube channel and uh, thank you very much for keep watching on my uh, videos and today i have here a uh, 15 uh, ppm uh, uh, builds uh, this is a 15 ppm monitor okay this is a uh, smart builds uh, made by uh, river craze uh, engineering so uh, this is the uh, <coughs> cover for the sensor is here inside okay. this was to move and send here to me for repair and I will try my best if I can do something or uh, whatever just cleaning okay this is the part number okay uh, this is the three-way uh, wall okay so I'll just uh, open this and show you uh, what is inside and how to clean it I will dismantle this all and we will see so you can also try to open this and uh, clean by yourself okay I will see <coughs> So okay guys, uh, just put back uh, the two screws here and uh, that's the uh, procedure how to clean the uh, cartridge of uh, this uh, sensor uh, glass and uh, just uh, to do the recap, uh, first you need to remove this uh, four screw here, okay, okay, you have four screw here, just remove this and then remove this also okay, so you can remove the board and secondly the uh, four four screw also here uh, uh, here just remove this okay this one will go pop up just just to remove this connection just push this inside this is self-locking so you can remove this after you remove this and uh, to remove the nut here, uh, just uh, find a small uh, 7 mm uh, socket range. Okay, for me, I just make this for machine, so it can go inside. Okay, you see, it can go inside. But uh, if it is not machined, uh, you can find a small, very, very thin tip that can go inside here because this is little bit tip. Okay and remove and clean i show you already how to clean this inside here okay that's it guys and uh, it's easy but uh, the problem is uh, you should uh, carefully uh, uh, need to uh, careful about the uh, uh, what you call it the seal because for me i need to return back this seal this factory to to uh, seal here because uh, in uh, inspection time uh, the guys is checking it so I need to return back uh, make the uh, stick this one on the cover yeah. stick this one on the cover back to the cover and do the put the sticking uh, on and, and just return it to like, like original and put the heating gun so it will return back okay guys thanks for watching my youtube channel and uh, if you like uh, i'll just do the continue troubleshooting of this uh, in my next video in the continuation of this uh, so now uh, I put back all the connection and just to turn this on and just put the power supply here this is a 220 uh, 220 volts so I just put the power supply here this so <coughs> uh, and here also in the water line uh, um, 
section I just blinded it so I can put water here on the top and then we can do the test okay just put the water first so now uh, this is already this is already filled with water you see I put water already there is water already inside this is full of water uh, so so I mean my sensor was uh, having water already okay and then we'll just see we'll trigger this on and we'll see what will happen okay okay uh -huh. now it is on okay to initializing uh -huh. this is something different this is a controller EEPROM failure so this is not about the sensor this is about the EEPROM from here this is the uh, unit display unit here and uh, uh, we will see what I can do for this so controller fa failure so now this is okay it's clean uh, clean is K okay Verify calibration. Set alarm delay. Set analog out view. Okay, diagnostic. We will go to diagnostic. Enter. View detectors. Okay. That is from uh, that is from the um, uh, the uh, what you call it the um, three-way uh, valve. Okay. View display. Diagnostic view detectors. Okay, detector one, detector two, all okay. And uh, so it means this is detector are okay. Uh, view display in 15 ppm so now it's showing uh, clean water so I don't have problem with my uh, sensor here okay mm, temperature I don't think so uh, flow temperature is 22 okay and temperature rather more uh, escape um, version info this is version uh, build spore 0.21 cell 2. Point. so uh, so calibration is uh, 0.2.1 calibration verification this is just only the test okay 
so I have some point two uh, million parts point only okay you can sell clean water so when you do the clean water calibration you see it is flushing there it's checking the uh, uh, water see. so it's checking let's wait and that is the problem system uh, error so escape so what I will do I will just try to uh, clean this uh, uh, see from we'll see if uh, something will happen okay guys we'll try uh, main board now okay Okay, that's the. Uh, okay. This supply is to twenty uh, volts. So. Okay, this is the board. And uh, problem is the pay room. What I will do? Just try to uh, reset this. And we will see. Mm, so this is the uh, Pirum uh, battery, and uh, I just checked this and uh, found out that uh, already. Uh, okay, let's get a bit close here. It's already uh, zero. Okay. So, see, it is 0.9 volts. So, what I will do, I'll just try to refresh this and put the uh, uh, battery and we will see. So, I don't have this battery. Okay, uh, but I have here a 9 volts lithium battery and. Uh, and uh, one of this because this is three piece so means one of this is 3.3 three uh, three volts only so i will just try this to put here just make the connection and try so now uh, i return back all the connection and i put also my uh, ram battery okay there you just put jumper there so we will see now what will happen to this okay we'll try to switch this on Initializing. So the same. Mm, nothing was strange. So nothing was changed. Just turn this off. So probably I need to 
find a new uh, board for this and check if this main board uh, is the problem or use the display we'll check again please uh, subscribe and watch my youtube channel thanks very much for watching have a nice day bye